Uh, the motor is a 1994 Tahatsu two-stroke. And we have some local residents that we need to evict, apparently. And uh, also, the gas tank that he has on here has seen better days. So, trying to figure out if this thing is running right might be kind of a, a challenge. I have a spare gas tank. But I'm not sure if the fittings work because this this is a little bit different right here. I know this right here is maybe the fuel line is okay. And maybe we'll be able to use this fuel line on my gas tank to run this thing. But the gas tank I have has regular four-stroke gas in it or, you know, non-oil gas. So. so we'll have to do a little looking around and see what we can work with. This motor right here, as you can see... It's not turning over at all. So that lets me know something is not right. This thing is locked up or it could be in gear. But usually most outboards have a thing to where if you're trying to start in gear, it has like a clack, 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 clack sound to it. And this is not getting it. Being that this is a 94 model, I would assume it would have it. Uh, so since it's doing this, not letting me pull it at all. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is take the spark plugs out and see if that changes anything. And if not, uh, I'm, I might have to talk to Sammy about what he wants to do about this motor. Because he might have water in it and it needs to be, uh, I don't know, maybe unseized. Alright, don't take my word for this. This is just something that's worked for me in the past. A lot of times when you have a locked up motor, you can use Marvel Mystery Oil. I do not have any. Uh, what a friend of mine told me to try to do one time, and like I said, it worked, was this right here, brake fluid. So what I'm going to do is put a funnel in here in both these cylinders and Put a little brake fluid in them and let them sit for two or three days and see if it can't unbind this motor. Uh, I just asked Sammy, I sent him a text and asked him what, how long has it been since he's ran this motor and he said three or four years. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how water got into the cylinders if it was just sitting, but uh, it sure is acting like it's locked up. I even tried to hook a battery to it and it won't do anything with the electric start. So I'm going to try this first, like I said, you know, don't hold me to it, uh, but it has worked for me in the past. I had a, it was one of them old cheap game fishers, like a 1970s model, five horse. It was completely locked up. I put brake fluid in it. It actually took a little over a week of just sitting with brake fluid on top of the cylinders before it actually broke free, but it worked. So that's what I got on hand, and that's what I'm going to try to use, and let's see what happens. All right, so I took the pull rope assembly off after I put some brake fluid in there. This top bolt, I'm not sure what the millimeter is, but a 15 16 fits on it. I guess dirt daubers built up a or nest around here. I cleaned it out so I could fit the uh, nut on here. And as you can see, I got it unseized with a breaking bar. I spun it around several times and just in case there's any kind of rust in the walls trying to get that mess off before I put it all back together. Actually, I might not even mess with it until tomorrow and let that kind of brake fluid kind of dissolve anything. But we no longer have a locked up motor. I'll say that. All right, we're going to go ahead and try to work on this lower unit, the water pump. I got a whole rebuild kit for it, not just the impeller, because I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and replace all of it. Looks like it's just six bolts to get the lower unit off. I have not figured out how to get the the shifter off yet. I don't know if it just slides out. It's got something right here. I don't know if 
it's something in behind here once you slide it out but i can't i don't see just like a plane this is where you take it apart at so we might have to figure it out as we go might have to do a little searching on youtube all right so apparently this is where it is connected if you see that little pin right there i'm gonna try to take something and knock it out and i think the whole thing will slide out wish me luck We're gonna go ahead and take the housing off. Should be a 10, yeah. All right, there's your impeller. And <laughs> I see his problem. It's uh, It's missing the key. It's supposed to be a little key in this slot and it is i guess it's done broke off i didn't hear anything fall when i took it out so without that key in there to catch on the impeller i'll go ahead and get this out and it's got that little slot and that key is supposed to fit into that so without that key in there the shaft is just going to turn and the impeller is going to stay still. So that's probably his problem, I would assume. But we're going to go ahead and replace all the stuff that the kit came with, which I haven't even opened yet. A little cup, a new impeller. Hopefully it came with the key. Yeah, that's it. Got new bolts, gasket, it's dropped, and the metal plate, which I also dropped. Luckily, y'all see that key at the bottom? Came with a key too, so that's good. All right, let's uh, take this stuff off and fix him up. Go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Looks like we've got a little bit of stuck gasket on it too. Take a razor blade and get most of it off. This thing right here was really hard to get out. I mean, it's like pressed in there or maybe just over the years it gets seized in there i haven't tried the new one in it yet but what i end up doing was just taking this pick right here and i started right here where it's got this little notch and just kind of broke the seal and then went all the way around it and just kind of pulled until it finally came out but that was i almost just didn't do it because i was scared i was going to end up messing it up and not being able to get the next one in but this isn't tore up so we're still good yeah that new one just slides right in so obviously from over the years the friction of that impeller probably pushes it out so just so you know the new one goes in a lot easier than the old one comes out so we got this cleaned up pretty good all i gotta do now is put it back together all right so this thing comes with two gaskets this one goes on first then the plate then your other gasket put a little bit of marine grease inside here cut down on a little friction I'm not sure if it's necessary I've seen people do it before though so i'm gonna do it too here's that little key hopefully i don't drop it all right slide the impeller down where it's over the key now we should be able to just slide the housing down All right, put a little twist to it to get the impeller turned. Uh, some people say to turn in a certain direction. Some people say it doesn't matter when the motor starts turning that it'll, you know, put it in the right direction. So I'm going to, I just kind of turned it this way. The, the prop, this, this thing, I think this, this thing is stuck in gear because when I move the shift lever, lever back and forth, I can never get the prop to free spin. So that's why I went ahead and jumped to this. All right, let's pop it back in there. I'm gonna put a little grease on top of this sh shaft. That way everything will hopefully go back in right.
cool. Let's see if we can't check the gear wall on this thing. Looking good right now. Well, that ain't good, guys. <laughs> that might be why this thing is not turning. That sucks if this lower unit's locked up. Something's wrong with the dog clutch or something. <laughs> I done put it, put in a brand new impeller and a bad lower unit. And I need to call Sammy and uh, let him know that his lower unit was bone dry. That's never a good sign. It looks like it's got a little crud right here, like it might have been leaking out right there. I'm not sure. It's been sitting for a few years. He said three or four years, so maybe it just dripped out. I don't know. I'm no expert, but I don't think that's good at all. I ain't trying to jab anything. I'm just trying to see if I could get any drop of oil and it's just pieces of metal and rust coming out. Uh, that goes way beyond my know-how, my expertise, which is pretty limited anyways, but had to replace all them internals. Yeah, he's gonna have to go to somebody else, so. I'm going to let him make that call. I did a quick check for anybody who's interested on eBay for these lower units, and they are not giving them away. I think i seen one that didn't even have any internals, a brand new one for 300 bucks, and a couple used ones for 600 that had all the internals. So, uh, a 90, I think it's a 94 Tahatsu 40 horse. I think he, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Might be better off finding a used running 40 or 50 horse two-stroke. Because ain't no telling what else might be wrong with this thing. But I'm going to let him make that call. This is a prime example why you should always service your outboard. I mean, he probably run this thing for a couple years while it was leaking and didn't have any problems. But uh, it probably ran very, very low. And then when it sat for three or four years, it might have had a little bit of water in there. Along with the oil. And slowly leaked out over time and just rusted it up in there is my guess but like i said i'm no expert but uh i know <laughs> rust and no oil or anything in your lower unit is not good all right so i was debating on whether to add this to this video make it a separate video if it worked or not uh, lower unit in this thing is locked up as you saw earlier it just didn't have any gear oil in it it was just rusted up and what I decided to do, I looked on the internet and I couldn't find any information on this. Anybody that did it, I reached out to one of my Facebook groups and didn't get any replies. But what I did, I talked to Sammy and he said, go ahead and try it. So I went and got some Marvel Mystery Oil and pumped the lower unit full of that. And it has been sitting for 24 hours. I went ahead and took the pin out of the castle nut, you know, behind the prop. And I put a breaking bar on it and with... <laughs> A little bit more force than I wanted to do I got it broke free uh, it's spinning but it's making a bad clicking sound in forward uh, in neutral before it wouldn't even go in neutral though with a prop wouldn't free spin in any gear uh, neutral sounds okay but uh forward's got a clicking sound to it I'll let you guys see it all right so this is neutral Sp spinning pretty good now if we put it in forward hear it I and mean, how can you not hear it that sounds pretty bad i'm not exactly sure what that is i mean i got it unstuck uh, i just wanted to include that in this video i said i don't know if it's the right thing to do i was worried that that marvel mistral oil could be corrosive to the seals but i mean 
people put it in their gas tank, so it probably wouldn't be a bad thing to do. I'm sure you, you don't want to just leave Marvel Moose Roll in there. It needs to be all drained out. But, I mean, I believe it aided in unseizing this thing. Now, as far as if it fixed it, I don't think so. But at least we got it turning now. Like I said, I wanted to include that and just let you guys know in case somebody else, you know, was wondering, <laughs> comes across this uh, problem. So, uh, like I said, I, I don't, I don't think I fixed the problem. It's still, I don't know. I think he needs a lower unit, to be honest with you guys, to to be safe. I mean, you, he might be able to water test this thing and it do okay, but I, personally, I wouldn't trust it being <laughs> that dry and rusted up. Like I said, I just want to let you guys know, I used a regular pump. Pumped it full, just like you would fill it, gear oil. And uh, I'm going to let it sit another day before I drain it out. But uh, like I said, I, I don't think it exactly fixed it, but it unseized it. The past few days, I've been jacking around with this motor. I wanted to crank it up and put some water to it and make sure that, if nothing else, what I told him I was going to do actually worked. You know, that it was actually peeing. You know, the pump and everything was working. Uh, so I decided to take the carburetor off because I, I mean, he said it's been sitting for three or four years. I cleaned all the jets and lo and behold, I had one of the gaskets break on me, a little O-ring. So I ordered a whole carburetor kit for it and it was like 70 bucks. So I went ahead and replaced all the stuff it came with, put it on and rigged me up a gas can to fix this motor and put water on it. And I'd have, I've cranked it over and it's fired, but I haven't actually just ran it, ran it. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn the water on and see if we can get this thing running. And hopefully it's at least peeing water. I have no idea what it's going to do with the prop and the whole lower unit gear selection stuff. So mess with that a little bit and see what we can come up with. Alright guys, uh, I'm actually surprised. It, it worked. This thing's actually going in forward and reverse. Uh, the only thing that I see that it's doing is sometimes when you go into neutral, the prop is still spinning like harder than it's supposed to. And a lot of times props will still spin a little bit when it's in neutral, but this looks like it's, it's spinning pretty good and you kind of wiggle the, the shifter and it'll slow down. Uh, but that could just be, you know, that lower unit being kind of rusted and corroded. Yeah, I can't believe this thing is actually going into gears. I, I just knew I was gonna crank it up and it would be just stuck in neutral or stuck in forward. So, uh, I don't know. Did the Marvel Mystery Oil fix it? <laughs> Who's to say? I, I, I can't really, you know, swear by it, but I, I, that's what I did, you know? Uh, I'm not saying that this is a cure-all and, you know, that you, if you do it, it'll fix your stuff. But uh, uh, this thing was like 100% locked up and, and now it's going into all gears. Uh, this might be like a best case scenario. Like I said earlier in the video, like maybe he ran it low and then when he parked it, what was left in there just ran out and like, I don't know, maybe condensation or a little bit of water that was in there just kind of froze it up a little bit enough to where it wasn't wanting to turn. 
And uh, me messed around with it and the Marvel Mystery Oil is what, you know, aided in it. But, you know, try it, I guess. I mean, why not? He definitely has a leak. Uh, it, it sat here for four or five days. I still have Marvel Mystery Oil inside that lower unit. Uh, one of his gaskets, the uh, the actually the drain gasket broke on me. And I ordered a new one, so I'm waiting on that. And I'm going to go ahead and pull all that Marvel Mystery Oil out and put him some gear oil in it. But as it was sitting there, I had a cup under it, and in like a few days, I mean, it's leaked that much out of it into like a regular, you know, like a 10 ounce drinking cup. So I don't know, I'm gonna let him make that call. But I have uh, done everything he said. Uh, I've replaced the bunks. On, I, I guess I'm gonna make this two videos. of just messing with the, the trailer itself, the bunk, tail lights, and the winch strap. And this will be a whole video of just messing with this motor. I didn't want to put out like a 30 something minute video of messing with a boat that's not even mine. But, you know, hopefully maybe somebody will come across this and it'll help, you know. If you've got a, a locked up lower unit and you don't think it's that bad, you know, give Marvel Mystery Oil a shot and, you know, a little little breaking bar persuasion. I'm sure that did, did the trick. And also the motor was kind of seized up on me. It might've been the same thing, maybe a little condensations trapped in the cylinders i don't know just enough to kind of seize them rings uh, you know a lot of people say swear by marvel mystery oil to to do that and i didn't have that at the time and i used brake fluid and you know a little braking bar it, it wasn't a whole lot of effort and i finally got that thing broke loose too so hopefully this video you know will help some people out there i don't i don't know it's filler i guess i'm getting caught up on my little the tracker build and like I said, you know, uh, all that work right there was paying for the tracker boat too. So it kind of ties in. Well, all right, I am going to actually, I need to put some, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some slime in his tire too before he gets there. And I'm going to, uh, he's got this motor is electric start. I'm going to replace his battery cables because it's not, it's just a bad connection. It's done corroded so bad. I'm gonna do those couple things and I'm gonna go ahead and get this back over to him and get a little more driveway space and we can get back on the tracker. Well, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one. It'll be the tracker.